In this lesson, we're going to talk about one of the most important types of the TypeScript language, which is the any type. The any type is something to avoid in your programs as much as possible. Let me give you an example. If we start defining here a variable, let's say lessons count, and we assign it the value 10, as we have seen in the past, the TypeScript compiler using type inference is continuously trying to identify the best possible type for a variable. But in some situations, whenever it's not possible to infer a type to the variable, the TypeScript compiler is going to assign the any type to the variable that we can also use explicitly in our programs if we want to. If we check here the type of this variable, this is now of type any as expected. So what does this mean? What is this type all about? Let's see. We are going to take here the lessons count variable and let's say that, for example, we try to assign it here to a string. As you can see, the compiler does not throw any error at all. So with any type, we can assign both numbers, strings, and let's also try to assign here a Boolean. So if we assign this to true, we can see that this works without any problem. Let's try an array of numbers. As we can see, no problem at all for the TypeScript compiler. And finally, if we try to assign this here to an object, as we can see, no problem either. So the any type can essentially be assigned anything in the type system, including also null and also undefined. All of these values are considered valid values for the any type. As the name indicates, the any type can be assigned literally anything in the TypeScript language. This means that the any type essentially bypasses completely the type system. Well, not really, because it's still a type in the type system, but we don't benefit from any of the advantages of having a strongly typed type system. We don't know if this is a number, we cannot prevent assignments of other things to this number, we don't get useful compilation errors at development time, and we cannot use refactoring or autocompletion in this type of variables because the compiler does not have any information about them except that they could be anything. Let me give you another example with the any type. So let's say, for example, that we are going to define here an array that was supposed to contain numbers, but we are going to define this as an array of any. So now to this array, not only can we assign numbers, but we can also assign strings. We can assign booleans here as valid members of this array. This does not cause any problem to the TypeScript compiler either. Essentially, this means that this is an array of anything. All sorts of types can be contained inside the array, including objects and other arrays. As you can imagine, in general, we should not do in our programs what we have done here. So we should not use the any type explicitly and use it to declare the type of a variable. This is something to be avoided because it makes our program not be type safe anymore. So the program will not benefit from most of the advantages of a TypeScript program. The any type should be avoided to be used in our programs at all costs. We should avoid using it explicitly to assign a type to a variable. And instead, we should prefer to assign the variable their proper type. So if we know that this is a number, we should define this as a number instead of any. If we know that this is an array of numbers, we should add here the proper type and get here all the benefits of the static type system and all the useful compiler error messages. Using the any type explicitly in your program should be rare and only used as a last resort if it's absolutely necessary, if you have no other alternative. So try to avoid using any as much as you can. There are situations, however, where the compiler is going to assign any to a variable implicitly. Let's learn about these situations and also let's learn about how to avoid them.